Hello everybody, it is Redmer Gaming here coming at you with some more Halo The Master Chief Collection. The background of the gameplay while I'm doing commentary will be me playing Halo 1, the campaign, uh, on the silent cartographer. I will not finish this mission. Uh, I will get stuck a little bit here and there, but that's not why we're here. That's just the gameplay background, like I said. We're here to talk about Halo 5 news. And let me turn on the volume so I can actually hear myself think. <laughs> okay. Halo 5 is... I don't know when it's coming out, but I saw some decent gameplay on YouTube. Um, it was on IGN's channel. And I'm... I'm not sure what I feel about it, honestly. I watched the gameplay and it reminded me of when I got Halo 4 for my first time. I did that on my old, old channel back in 2012. Um, when I pointed my ca my phone camera at a TV and I recorded. And um, that's what I did. That's, I just recorded some Halo 4 and the next day I took it back to the store because I didn't like Halo 4. Honestly, I was kind of disappointed uh, in what they did with it. It's just not my my way, not what I imagined what Halo 4 would look like. It's so different. If you, if you like, compare it to a game like Halo Reach, they're completely different games. I mean, except for the sprint mechanic, that's about it. That's the only thing that is similar in between those two games. All the guns look different, everything looks completely different. Um, 343 Industries, or Studios, or whatever, they messed Halo 4 up in my opinion, and uh, they're continuing it in Halo 5. I don't know, maybe I just need to play it to get a feel for it, and maybe I'll actually like it in the end. But, as of right now, I don't like what I see. I'm being honest with you guys. I mean, I, I saw the Warzone multiplayer thing, and that looks pretty damn cool. Um, it reminds me of Invasion from Halo Reach. I don't know if it's any other in any other Halo games, but it reminded me of that in um, in uh, Halo 5 Warzone because you gotta capture these points and you gotta move up to get the enemy's core, which is it's red versus blue. The cutscenes look fucking fantastic. I mean, it looks really cool. Um, but they kind of like messed, messed with it a little bit and made the pelicans look different way way different okay, like if you compare back. it to a halo 3 pelican or a halo reach pelican they look a lot different a lot more futuristic maybe that's what they're going for i'm not sure what they're trying to do with the everything i don't know what they're trying to do with it Every, everything looks different everything looks a lot different the Warthog, the Warthog sounds different in Halo 5. The horn is the same. That's the only thing that is the goddamn same, is the goddamn horn. Out of all things, that could they, they could have made the same. <sighs> Come on, man. Come on. Alright, we're moving up here in the gameplay. Uh, I'm not sure what... I never played the through Halo 1's campaign. I've never ever done it before. So this is kind of new to me. I know how the story goes. I, I already know how the story goes because I uh, watched some stuff on YouTube. But I never actually played the campaign through with myself. Um, speaking of Halo 1, uh, when they released the remastered version of Halo 1 on the 360, I was a little disappointed with that too. Honestly. Disappointed. Okay, moving up here. And that little gameplay, we got a little cut there. Um, okay. Games that are actually still good. The Halo games that are actually still good. That I recommend you play. I would recommend playing Halo Reach. I mean, that game is like five years old. It's 2015 now. It was released in 2010. It's still good. I still love that game. Um, I've been playing it with my friends recently. And I just love the hell out of that game. It's still fun. Whoa, excuse me. Um, it's still really fun. I even have a Halo Reach poster in my room still. Um, ever since 2010. That's insane. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't seen no Halo 4. Well, I've seen one Halo 4 poster. But 
I, I don't know. They kind of messed it up. But Halo Reach is still a great game. I recommend you play it if you have not already. <sighs> love it. I love that game so much. Halo 3 is still a fantastic game. It will always be a fantastic game. It's a legendary Halo. It's a bestseller. It's a platinum hit. If you have not played Halo 3, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Really. If you're some sort of a Halo fan and you have some any dedication to Halo games, and you have not played Halo 3, I, I don't know what you're doing with your life. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Uh, I recently, or I'm about to beat the Halo 3 campaign on Heroic. Um, so I can, uh, I don't know, uh, just, just to beat it, you know, just to have that on my achievement list. So, yeah, I recommend you play that, um, Halo 3, if you have not already. Like I said, I don't know what the fuck you're doing with your life if you haven't already. <laughs> okay. Um, Halo Wars, oh my god. Halo Wars was my very favorite and millions of other people's favorite strategy game ever ever made the best i can guarantee you if you know anybody who loves strategy games they know what halo wars is it's just it's a fantastic game it's a fantastic strategy game if you have never played it uh, like i said i don't know what you're doing with your life and you like strategy games you gotta, you gotta play that game. I really, 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 really want Halo Wars 2. And, and they did not do anything at E3 for Halo Wars 2, which is very disappointing to all the people who were looking forward to a, a second Halo Wars. It's slightly disappointing. But, that's fine, you guys can do what you want with your Halo. The three, it's all 343 now, and it just messed things up a little bit. I, I don't know what they're doing. Bungie. Bungie, they're over there fucking with Destiny. I don't know what the hell they're doing with that game. I don't even like Destiny, personally. I just... Uh, not my way of play. They made Halo 5 look like Destiny. With the weird boss things in there. Oh my god. This is Halo... Five, not Destiny number two. Come on, really? Three for three? Whoever the hell developed that game? If it's Bungie, I'm extremely disappointed in you guys. You guys made the masterpiece of Halo 3 and Halo Reach, Halo 2, Halo 1, Halo Wars, I think, and you just fucked it up if, you, if they did make Halo 5. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. It's just disappointed. They classic Halo games are still the dominant and the better Halo games in my opinion. And I, I don't know if I will be doing Halo 5 stuff on my channel. Uh, I'll leave that up to you guys if you really, really, really want me to. I, I'll i pre-order it if you really want me to. So, yeah. I, I kind of got stuck right here. I, I wasn't sure what the hell I was doing, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. And it's stuck. Okay. I, I guess I'm just enjoying the weather here. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a screenshot right there. So I could set that as my Xbox background, which is really cool. I like the way they did that in the Xbox thing. Alright, Halo 5. Halo 5. What else to talk about? Halo 5. The multiplayer looks clean. There's no lag. There's no netcode issues. It looks fine to me. I didn't see any issues. I mean, there's still the issue of people betraying you on your own team and killing you. I mean, that's been around since, what, Halo 1? <laughs> still, up to this day, since 2000, people are still betraying you for no fucking reason. <sighs> Halo community fucked up people sometimes. <laughs> They're fucked up. Oh, man. I was so goddamn lost here. I didn't know what to do. Something about a control panel open up the door that's locked. Uh, I, I wasn't sure what to do. I did figure out later on, though, I gotta move on with the mission. And the missions are so goddamn long in this game. They're like 30 minutes each. That's ridiculous. But that is good for a per first person shooter. You wanna have long campaigns. But at the same time, you wanna stay attached to the campaign. You wanna know what the hell is going on. 
And in Halo 5, the campaign, it's uh, something about a Master Chief dying or something. I don't know. Some guy's after him. I don't know, but we will find out sooner or later. And I just took fall damage. <laughs> Alright. That is all I have time for today. There's a little bonus clip at the end, so don't click out yet. Um, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, hit that like button and subscribe for a daily basis of my videos. And without further ado, I will see you all in the next video. Adios.